What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? We have a lot of awesome news to talk about today. Let's get into it. All right, first things first. On Twitter, I point out, you know, Costco already has their Christmas stuff out. Kind of weird. It's early September. It's not even mid-September yet. You know, got to get your Christmas stuff out early. People want to decorate their houses. I, I don't know. Um, all I want for Christmas is a new Doge helmet. And I I tweeted this at Elena, you know, just just in case, you know, letting her know that a, a new Doge helmet would be cool. Uh, I've made my I've made my uh, thoughts known on that for a while. Uh, Doge in a Santa hat? Uh, yes. And uh, if we look, I don't know if she already had this made or I, I probably did. But here's a Doge in a Santa hat. That's yeah, and uh, even better, it's it's called a custom. So, <sighs> I'm so happy. Um, there is another picture of it. Where's the other picture? All right, here's the picture of the color custom. Uh, so you can change the color of the hat and I guess the Doge also. Uh, maybe not. I don't. I, the Doge might be one color. Who who cares? Who cares really? Got a color custom element on it. It's a Doge helmet. And uh, I said it looks amazing, a version without the bells also, question mark. And Elena liked that tweet, so that doesn't mean it's going to happen, but that'd be also cool if there was a version without the bells. He just had the hat on there. That's awesome. All right, let's get into the next thing that is news related. All right, so I've been noticing uh, some Nelgaf gear popping up on Twitter. Baido has some very nice looking gear. I love that color, although it would be nice if all of that green on there or the teal, whatever color that is, was color custom. That would be, oh, that'd be, that'd be cool. I'm always down for some color custom stuff. Set looks sick, and of course, Nelgaf related. Kumong also along around the same time released another color custom armor. Pretty nuts looking. Uh, it's kind of dark. Looks kind of like it looks like I've kind of seen this armor in game before, but like a slightly different version of one I've seen in game. Maybe someone knows what armor I'm talking about. Uh, but it does look similar to other Nalgath armors. Pretty cool though. So hey, with all this new Nalgath gear showing up on Twitter, maybe we'll get a Nalgath themed event in the future. Um, maybe that's for maybe it's for January. Who knows? I mean, it's it's September, but who knows? We'll we'll see. We'll see what what happens with this gear. Speaking of Baido and Krimong, uh, we have a collaboration on some Lion Man armor and a helmet, I guess. Looks pretty cool. That's all I got to say about that. And uh, we might see that in game in the future. Elena has been going over the future of Adventure Quest Worlds on Twitter recently, and uh, one of the posts she made was, We're going to tell new stories in fan favorite zones next year. Dracovia is already on the itinerary. Where else would you like to go? Uh, Yokai, Chronospan, Mirror Realm. Or Doomwood. So it looks like no one. <laughs> Poor Chrono Span. Uh, but Yokai, yeah, Mirror Round, Doomwood, these are probably all places people are going to go back. Actually, I kind of like Chrono Span. I'm not going to lie. It wasn't the best zone, but I, I, it had a charm to it. And uh, Mirror Realm is definitely my, my vote. I'm not telling you what to vote for on this poll. If you haven't voted already, it'll be on Lena's Twitter. Uh, but I actually am. I'm telling you to vote for Mirror Realm. Do it. Do it. The best items are in Mirror Realm. You better know it. Here's a little sneak peek at this week's release, which is tomorrow, of course. Um, that's Galanos Blade right there, and uh, it's Galanos speaking. So, I don't know what that blue eye is. is. That the dragon we're gonna be fighting, or is that Galanos? Does Galanos have blue eyes? I don't think he does. Uh, maybe is that a dragon? Is that Galanos dragon form? Who knows? We will see tomorrow. Hopefully, he doesn't steal our kills and claim to be a dragon slayer. That'd be that'd be cool. All right, so right here we have Elena confirming a class is coming out. So Deadly asked, I know there's no more classes coming out until the server is finished, but can you just do one more class? And Elena replies with, we'll be doing our annual birthday class, which will tie into Mulgoween regardless of where the rewrite's at. So if you don't know, uh, previously Elena said that there was no classes coming out until the rewrite was finished because the rewrite kind of changes how classes work to a certain extent and they want to update classes with the rewrite. So... They weren't going to release any classes till the rewrite was finished, but this post confirms that we are getting a class this October. So we haven't got a class in a long time. I think the last one that came out was Void High Lord, and uh, 
pretty good to get some news of a new class coming to the game can't wait for that that'll be out in october and uh people are assuming it's gonna be vampire themed uh tie in with mogaween and if we look at uh the future little bits of news i have for this video uh that that might also help the fact back up the facts that it, it's probably going to be a mogaween uh vampire class for this year's birthday class let's go here is the Crimson Bloodlord set, confirmed to be a reward drop for what people would assume a Mogoween event. I mean, I would assume that, judging on how it looks. It looks really nice. I like, I like that face. Uh, the face style looks pretty cool, and the hair is very unique. It doesn't really look like part of the hair right there, but still looks pretty unique. And uh, yeah, it's confirmed to be a drop. We'll see this in the future. Very nice, very nice. Uh, speak about Mogoween and vampires and blood and uh, maybe even a class armor right here. I'm not saying it's a class armor, you know, I'm not saying that that's what this is for, but uh, you know, we, we do have things saying well, tie, a class tying in the Mogoween and you know, a vampire man. It actually might not, it probably isn't the vampire class armor if there was going to be a vampire class releasing this year, but hey, it's vampire themed armor that Bite is working on. And uh, you can see it's not finished because it's lacking a lot of detail there. Looks like 2008 AQW art. Kappa Kappa. All right. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, last but not least, what I like to include at the end of these news videos is some AQ3D news. So here's some source for Talk Like a Pirate Day in AQ3D. If you're not up to date, AQ3D is getting a Talk Like a Pirate Day this year, along with Adventure Quest Worlds, of course. And here is the naval that it's releasing. Uh, I guess we're only doing one for TLAPD, the one that we've seen so far. Maybe the maybe uh, we'll get a sneak attack with that uh, second naval, or maybe yeah, there might be a second one. But uh, Deja's only release art on the blue one that we see right here, female male version right there. Uh, there's also like an anchor weapon and a few other things, but I don't really think it's relevant to show. Uh, these are confirmed to be dragon crystals only. You can't farm them, uh, which dragon crystals are the AC equivalent for. Uh, Venture Quest 3D if you haven't played that game. You should try out AQ3D. It's free to play. It's on mobile devices and on PC. Uh, it's on Steam on PC. And of course, the App Store is on mobile devices. Um, yeah, that's about it for the news we have today, guys. Um, oh, yeah. I, one more thing about the navels. Uh, they're also confirmed not rare. So, however you feel about that, you if you don't get it this year, you can get the same navel next year for next year's TLAPD. So, that is all... Yeah, I got logged out. <laughs> That's all the news we have for today, boys. Uh, also, Green Guard got an update in AQ3D with a bush. There's a bush morph. That's the only thing I'm interested in. Uh, Green Guard got an update. I don't know how you get the bush morph. Uh, if it's complicated, I might make a video on it. But uh, other than that, uh, thank you guys for watching the video. And uh, leave a like if you enjoyed it. And tell me what your favorite uh, thing that's coming out for AQW is. And uh, yeah, that class, vampire class. I'm really interested in that. I probably should move my mic while I'm recording. And uh, the new Doge helmet, of course. That's probably my favorite thing that's coming out in the future. Thanks for tuning in, guys. And I'll see you guys all tomorrow on the stream. Where we'll be playing the dragon of... Ooh, what's the dragon? I don't know. One of the dragons. The seven deadly dragons tomorrow. Peace out, guys.